Hello everyone, today we'll cover Windows 11 optimization recommended steps to get the best possible performance from your device. The first step of course is to install available updates. Since this is a new operating system, any new update can fix bugs and make the operating system run faster and more stable. So when it's convenient for you, you can set a day every week to install available updates and for drivers you can click on advanced options, optional updates and install any available updates. You can also manually install updates using device manager. You can select any piece of hardware on your computer and check for available updates. You can also check your GPU, manufacturer, Nvidia or AMD for the latest available updates. And you can also check your motherboard manufacturer to download any necessary updates from the official website. Another recommended setting is to disable startup and background apps. You can use task manager and then startup to disable, to disable any apps from running at Windows startup. You can also go to apps startup then disable any unnecessary apps. And of course this is not enough so I recommend going to apps and features and disabling apps from running at background for example a groove music click on advanced options in background permission choose never and do the same for any apps that are running in the background for no reason Select never in background app permission. And the next step of course is to remove any unnecessary apps from your device. So browse through your list of programs and remove any unnecessary apps by clicking on uninstall. And to save more space you can use a software like portableapps.com to use a portable apps from softwares and programs that you don't use on a daily basis for more information you can check my full review of this program another recommended step is to enable storage sense from storage you can enable storage sense this is a built-in feature to automatically clean temp files and cache and to keep your system and to clean your C drive whenever possible you can also delete recycle bin files after a specific period of time. If you use any other programs to, to clean your system, it's good, but this is a built-in feature, so I recommend enabling storage sense. The next step is to disable VBS, a built-in security feature on Windows 11 that affects your system performance from privacy and security Click on Windows Security, then click on Device Security. Under Core Isolation, click on Core Isolation Details. Then disable this Memory Integrity option. This is a nice security feature, but there is a big impact on your system performance, so I recommend disabling Core Isolation. And another setting for best performance from Power. You can set your power mode to best performance. I'm using the high performance so I can't change it right now. Basically selecting a high performance option. Make sure that your CPU runs at a higher clocks all the time. This is really useful if you have any performance problems. To get the best possible performance from your device, a high performance is recommended. But if you're using a laptop, balanced is recommended. Another effective step is to disable transparency and animations from accessibility. You can click on visual effects. From here you can disable transparency effect and animation effect. If you're having any performance problems on your device. For more you can open the advanced system settings then change the performance settings this is a classic menu that any windows user 
saw and used before simply select adjust for best performance to get the best possible performance for your device and if you're not an xbox or game pass user i also recommend disabling game mode from the gaming section click on xbox game bar then disable this option and also game mode disable this option if you don't use it this is another recommended step if you don't need these settings enabled on your device privacy is a big concern in windows 11 there are lots of background apps and uh, and settings to collect your data so i recommend checking my video about windows 11 privacy settings some recommended steps that will make sure that your experience with windows will be better and your data will be more private as always the link will be in the description so i highly recommend watching that video if none of the steps we mentioned so far helped you get the performance you want then the next step of course is to upgrade your hardware and you don't need to buy a new computer as long as your system supports windows 11 just find out what limiting your system performance and upgrade it that is the best advice that i can give you for example if you don't have an ssd and you're still using a hard drive in 2022 then then buying a budget ssd will have a huge impact on your system performance personally i use a budget 120 gigabyte ssd from pny this is a cheap and budget option and it works just fine the performance difference from the old mechanical hard drive is massive the only problem that, that i have is that 120 gigabyte is not enough so i recommend going with at least 240 gigabyte ssd from kingston pny or sandisk you don't need an m.2 nvme for most people a budget ssd will make a big difference on your system performance and if you had less than 8 gigabytes of memory then upgrading your memory is an essential step to get the best performance in the official microsoft website the minimum requirement for windows 11 for is 4 gigabytes but from my experience my system uses at least 3 to 4 gigabytes at idle so 8 gigabytes is the bare minimum to run windows without any problems if you started seeing performance problems since upgrading to windows 11 then you can go back to windows 10 is still supported until 2025 and it's a more stable system of course if your system is not powerful enough there are lots of great linux distros that you can use instead of windows if you're interested i will make a video about the best linux distros that you can use instead of windows so don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss that video and hit that like button if this video was useful for more windows 11 content check the description you will find some useful tutorials until next time bye